This is Dr. Hayek and this video is about acids and bases. In today's video, I will show you how you can calculate the pH of a strong acid or the pH of a strong base. Let me first remind you of the outline of this chapter where I will be talking about five different topics, so please refer to the corresponding video for the topic of interest. Now we will consider the first example on how we can calculate the pH of a strong acid. Now let's consider the following question that it says, calculate the pH of a 0.1 molar solution HNO3 or nitric acid. Now nitric acid is known as a strong acid, so it will dissociate completely in the solution. So the dissociation equilibrium of nitric acid is given as follows. HNO3 will react with water to give H3O plus plus NO3 minus. Now, the major species in this solution is the H+, the NO3-, and water. Now, the concentration of H+, coming from the nitric acid, is going to be equal to the initial concentration of nitric acid, and that's equal to 0.1 molar. However, we have another source of H+, which is water, but the concentration of H+, coming from water, is equal to 1.0, times 10 to the power minus 7 molar, which is way smaller than the 0.1 molar, which is the concentration of H+, plus that came from the HNO3. So in this case, we will neglect the concentration of H+, plus coming from water, and we will only consider the concentration of H+, plus coming from the nitric acid, and therefore, we can use this concentration to calculate the pH using the expression pH is equal to minus log of H+, plus, which is equal to 1.0. Let's now consider how we can calculate the pH of a strong acid, but with very low concentration, such as 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 10 molar. Now the acid here is the hydrochloric acid. It's a strong acid, so it will completely dissociate in solution. The equilibrium of the dissociation is the following. HCl plus water is going to give me H3O plus plus Cl minus. Now the major species in solutions are the H plus, the Cl minus, and water. But now if you look at the concentration of H plus that, that was produced by HCl, it's equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 10 molar. However, the concentration of H plus that's coming from water is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 7 molar. Now, the 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 10 molar, which is the concentration of H plus coming from HCl, is way smaller than the concentration of H plus coming from water, and that's why we will neglect it. So we can calculate now the pH from the concentration of H plus coming from water, and therefore the pH is going to be equal to 7. So basically, even if you have a strong acid but the concentration is very weak, the aqueous solution will still be neutral. Now let's discuss another example, and is how we can calculate the pH of a 0.10 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. Now sodium hydroxide is a strong base and therefore it will completely dissociate in water and therefore the reaction or the equilibrium is the following. An AOH plus water is going to give an A plus plus OH minus. So the major species in solution are the Na plus, the OH minus and water. Now notice here that we do not have an H plus so how can we calculate the pH? Now to calculate the pH, we'll be using the concentration of OH minus. So the concentration of OH minus that's produced by the NaOH is equal to the initial concentration of NaOH, and that's equal to 0.10 molar. Now the concentration of OH minus coming from water is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 7 molar, which is way smaller than the concentration of OH minus produced by NaOH, and therefore it will be neglected. But now from OH minus we cannot calculate the pH, however we can calculate the POH, which is equal to minus log of the concentration of OH minus. Now the POH in this case will be equal to 1. Now what's the relationship between pH and pOH? Now we know that pH is equal to pKW minus pOH. pKW is the uh, 
minus log of the water dissociation constant kw and that's equal to 14 so ph in this case is going to be equal to 14 minus 1 and this is going to be equal to 13.00 now you can notice here that because the solution is a strong base, the pH is high and that's equal to 13. Let's consider another example now of a pH of a strong base but for a weak concentration solution. So calculate the pH of 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 10 molar NaOH. So in this case, we can uh, also say that the NaOH will completely dissociate in water. The uh, reaction with water is the following. Now the major species are the Na+, the OH-, and water. Now the concentration of OH- that's going to be coming from NaOH is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 10 molar, which is the initial concentration of NaOH. However, the concentration of OH- coming from water is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 7 molar, and that's way higher than the concentration of OH- coming from NaOH. So the concentration of OH- coming from NaOH will be neglected. And in this case, we can calculate the pOH, and therefore, we will find that the pOH is equal to 7. Now, we, when we calculate the pH from the expression of pKW minus pOH, we'll also find that the pH is equal to 7. Now, even though we add a strong base to the aqueous solution, but since we are adding a very weak concentrated solution, the pH will be unchanged and the solution will remain in neutral. And this is characterized by the pH equal to 7. I hope this video was helpful to you, so please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.